Arizona, Rep Representative Stanton. Gentleman is recognized. Mr. Chair, uh, I thank the gentleman for Washington. I want to thank Chairman Graves and Ranking Member Larson, a model of bipartisanship, a great model that we could learn a lot from in this institution, and for your leadership in helping to craft a strong bipartisan FAA bill. Air travel can be stressful, but for those with disabilities, it can be a nightmare. It is the only mode of public transportation that requires one to surrender their mobility devices before boarding and place their trust in others to help them get safely to their seats. This bill takes meaningful steps, many I was proud to help lead on, to improve the flying experience for passengers with disabilities, including our disabled veterans. It directs the Department of Transportation to gather data on disability-related complaints and make meaningful improvements based upon that data. It improves training for employees who assist passengers with boarding and deplaning, as well as those who handle mobility devices. And it requires airlines to issue refunds to those who are unable to travel when their wheelchair cannot be physically accommodated. Finally, it includes my amendment to make sure passengers traveling with a personal care attendant are not charged extra for seating accommodations. We still have a long way to go before air travel is fully accessible. But the steps we've taken in this bill are common sense, necessary fixes that makes significant progress. I urge my colleagues to support this bill, and I yield back. Reserve.